hello, Pete's Packs here, and welcome to episode number 95 of Secret Lair Sunday. This is Showcase Midnight Hunt Foil Edition. All right, let's get into this. Now, this is one of the larger um, Secret Layers that they've done. Um, it does have a full cycle of 10 cards on it, which I love that they did that, because... This is a cycle that really deserved a full treatment together. And although it is a showcase for Midnight Hunt, it is a cycle of cards that were original that were in the original um, Innistrad block. But using the uh, silver screen treatment. Now, the promo for these are the foil jumpstart lands. First one we've got is the island made up of books, which is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Second promo is another island. I'm not sure what this one is. It looks like some kind of wreath. Really nice. Third one. We've got another one of the reef. That is Secret Lair, or SLD 548. First one is SLD 555. Okay. And apologies, my neighbor is currently cutting down a tree, so if you hear a chainsaw in the background... <laughs> my apologies. Uh, although it does fit in with the spoopy season, which is what we are now in. And we have a third island. This one appears to have some spirits or ghosts of some kind climbing up onto islands, and this is SLD 553. Very nice. Okay, now well, let's get into these. Now these are the silver screen full arts in foil. Perfect for our current spooky season. We do have that nasty adhesive that they used in the uh, middle editions of secret layers, and they were transitioning between the large boxes and the medium-sized boxes before they went to envelopes. So we are going to try and open these without getting that adhesive on any of the cards or on ourselves, which is sometimes much easier said than done. As you see, it gets everywhere. There's another oversplatter of that adhesive. So the last thing we want is that to stick to, to these. We'll see the foils on the silver screen uh, treatment are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, And the silver screen treatment was mostly used for a double feature, but it was also used in this showcase Midnight Hunt, which is really exciting. It is probably my favorite variant treatment that they've done in the last few years. Um, the only one that comes anywhere close to it for me is the stained glass treatment. Part of that is the religion that I was raised in has quite a few stained glass works. Um, I was always fascinated by those when I was a kid. But the silver screen treatment is probably my favorite, even over that. It reminds me of watching classic horror movies with my grandparents when I was a kid. Yeah, things like The Mummy and Werewolf, or not The Werewolf, The Wolfman. 
uh, Frankenstein, you know, Dracula, all of those. So let's get into these. So, we've got Moreland Haunt with what appears to be Dracula's Castle. Oh, this one, these appear to be misprinted. There is a washout on the text of the black layer. That's interesting. These all seem to have that. Okay, well, that's an interesting variant. We've got Moreland Haunt, Vault of the Archangel, which is absolutely beautiful. This appears to be post um, post shadows over Anastrod. So the angel that's there, unless I'm just misremembering it, then uh, Nephalia Drownyard, which is my favorite of this cycle. Was a fantastic wind condition back when these were in standard. Desolate lighthouse. Oh, that's just gorgeous. The foiling on this is fantastic. We have Stencia Blood Hall. See with the vampires flying up and the the bats. The detail on these is just. Fantastic. We have Grim Backwoods. And it appears that we have Ishkana in the back there. Shows up in some of the later Inishrod based sets. We have the Kessig Wolf Run. A lot of really cool little Easter eggs in these two. So you've got a werewolf. Down in the bottom here, the skull there, and then scratch marks on all the or claw marks on all the trees. Very cool. We have Slayer Stronghold. What appears to be an angel over here. Very nice. The Gavany Township. There's someone a little someone standing on the roof right there, and like a f crowd of bats flying in between frame and the moon. It's awesome details. And then the Alchemist Refuge. That's the last one. have what looks like the Gitrog monster right here. Something along those lines. Some giant frog toad. And then you've got a little something or someone up on the roof here. Very cool. All right. Let's see if we got all the same. Orland Haunt, Vault, Drown Yard, Lighthouse, Blood Hall, Backwoods, Wolf Run, Stronghold, Township, Refuge, Haunt, Vault, Drown Yard, Lighthouse, Blood Hall, Backwoods, Wolf Run, Stronghold, Township, Refuge. Our fourth one. Now oh, these are already starting to curl. Haunt, Vault, Drown Yard, Lighthouse, Blood Hall, Backwoods, Wolf Run, Stronghold, Township, Refuge, very nice. Now we'll see them all together. Lovely. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure to Anastrod for Showcase Midnight Hunt. 
may your spooky season this year be full of fright and joy as as it should be and uh yeah as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe all that good stuff for the algorithm and until next time stay awesome we'll see you in the next one thanks bye